a squared minus b squared equal to 9, a b equal to 3, and our goal is to find a and b. For solving this, I use replacement. I divide both sides by a to find b in terms of a. b will be equal 3 over a. Why we can divide by a? Because a is not 0. Why a is not 0? Because if a is 0, left hand side will be 0, but right hand side 3. Now we can replace. Let's replace in first equation. a squared minus b squared. We replace b with 3 over a squared equal to 9. Now, the power rule, we know what? We know that x over y to the power of m equal to x to the power of m over y to the power of m. And here it works. How? And you should pay attention for positive numbers because, for example, if x is negative 1, y is negative 1, m mm, is, for example, 1 over 2, you can't do this. For example, we can say x and y are positive. Or let me tell you a better thing. Or m is positive integer. If m is positive integer, also it will be okay. Here, 2 is positive integer. If you know the exceptions, the things here, you should pay attention. If you want to learn all these things, you can send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Okay, so it will be a squared minus 3 squared over a squared equal to 9. And then it will be a squared minus 3 squared is 9. 9 over a squared equal to 9. Next step, I don't like denominator a squared. I multiply both sides by what by a squared so if you multiply both sides by a squared then we have a to the 4 now we can use that because x to the m times x to the n will be x to the m plus powers you should add the powers for some a squared times a squared a to the power of 2 plus 2 4 minus 9 over a squared times a squared denominator will be cancelled equal to 9 a squared Next step, a to the 4 minus 9a squared minus 9 equal to 0. Now, this quadratic function in terms of a squared. If we consider a squared as c, then we have c squared minus 9c minus 9 equal to 0. And now, for solving this, it is a quadratic function in terms of c. For solving this, we should know quadratic formula is what? So let's write quadratic formula ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a here c will be negative b negative negative 9 plus minus square root of negative 9 squared minus 4ac negative 9 all over 2a, which will be 2 times 1. Now, in next step, c will be negative negative 9 will be 9 plus minus square root of negative 9 squared is 81 minus 4 times negative 9 plus 36 all over 2. So it will be 9 plus minus 1 plus 6, 7, 8 plus 3, 11 all over 2. So we found a c is what? Uh, let's do something. 117 is multiple of 9, so we can say 9 plus minus. If you take 9 outside square root, it will be 3 and uh, square root of 1927, 3 over 2. So, C will be this. And now, we know C is what? C is A squared. So, C is A squared. And we found C is this 9 plus minus 3 root 13 all over 2. Because it is positive for non negative number, if you select negative, obviously it will be negative because 9 is the square root of 81, but 117 is greater than 81. So because it is positive, we are working in real numbers, you can say a squared equal to 9 plus. 3 root 13 over 2. And then we can conclude a plus minus 
square root of 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. Now, let A is this, you consider B, B will be also plus minus 9. Mm, let's check, let's do something. We should replace because the problem is not symmetric with respect to A and B because it is A squared minus B squared. If we had plus B squared, we could use symmetric. But B equal to 3 over A, all right, B equal to 3 over A. So it will be plus minus. 3 over 9 plus 3 root 13 all over 2. And plus is for plus, minus for minus. We have two answers. Now, can equation will be satisfied? Let's check to see. Are these a and b okay? a squared will be a squared minus b squared. a squared will be 3 plus 9. So 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. Minus b squared. b squared will be 9 over 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. If you want to simplify, it will be 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2. Minus, we can simplify, it is 9 over 1. We can simplify this by 3. 2, 3, this is 1. So, 2 times 3 minus 6 over 3 plus root 13. So let's simplify this. 9 plus 3 root 13 over 2 minus 6 over 3 plus root 13. If you use common denominator, it will be 3 plus root 13 times 2, multiply 9 times 3, 27, and we can use this, okay, so 9 times 3, 27, plus 9 root 13, plus 9 root 13, and then plus 3 times, 3 times 13, 9, 39, minus 6 times 2, 12. 9, 9, 27, 39 minus 12 will be 7, 27, okay? And then 27 plus 27, it will be 2 times 27 plus 9 root 13. All over 2 times 3 plus root 30. If we simplify this by this, it will be exactly 9, and it will be satisfied. So, we saw that these answers will satisfy both equations, and as homework, you can change this degree to 3. Let me write a cubed minus b cubed equal to, for example, 27, and a b equal to 3. And try to find a and b. a and b are real numbers, or you can say complex numbers. Comment your answers right below this video, and if you have questions, send message to my WhatsApp number. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.